Hi everyone, this is Lena Wozlik, the Director of Instructional Technology. I'm excited to announce to you that Hackettstown will be hosting our first ever district-wide ed camp on January 16th at Hackettstown High School. If you're not sure what an ed camp is, this is an extremely brief presentation that will not only inform you, but will also walk you through the steps of volunteering for a session. So what is an ed camp? The ed camp movement is about educators coming together to discuss topics they are interested in, to share things they've tried in their classes and to learn from each other. Throughout my career, I've attended national and statewide conferences. I've had 15 years of district run professional learning in various districts. And by far, I can honestly say that the ed camp structure provides perhaps the most meaningful, applicable, and the most easy to impl implement professional learning. Uh, this is because teachers come together organically to discuss topics and learn about topics that they are interested in and passionate about, passionate about sharing. Ed camps are also participant driven. Uh, it allows teachers to collaboratively determine topics um, and traditionally the schedule is built the morning of the ed camp. So just imagine you walk into a room and there's a big board that's set up um, with times down one side and just session numbers and locations across the top. It's like a big chart. And basically what happens is everybody comes into the room and they look at the chart, and, you know, always look at each other and see who's gonna make the first move, but there you go and then they fill the chart based on what it is they wanna discuss. We're gonna do it a little differently uh, this time because this is the first time we're doing it and I want people to be a little bit more comfortable with it. We are going to build our chart and our sessions prior to going to the high school on the 16th. So I'll get into that in a few minutes um, and we'll just kind of talk through what, what the rest of this looks like. Ed camp rules. <laughs> um, so let me give you a little rundown on how this works. In the vein of Tyler Durden, the first rule of ed camp is there's really no formal rules of ed camp. Um, however, there is etiquette. So if there's a session that you would like to see run, you put it up on the Google form. Sometimes if there's the same session number of times, I might go to you and whoever else put it up and say, would you guys be willing to run this session together? And we can combine sessions that way. But if you, if you pitch it, you start it. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to be the expert. It just means that you want to have a conversation. So you can say, you know, this is going to be a collaborative conversation session, and I would like to talk about edge elastic. I would like to talk about um, group projects, and you just put it up, and then that's that's the option. Also, share the floor. This is not supposed to be. Um, the sage on the stage or you feeling pressure that you need to know the answers to every question. This is meant to be a collaborative work environment. And the last one and perhaps maybe the most uncomfortable rule of etiquette is that you have to listen to your feet. So if your gut is telling you that this is not the session for you or it's not what you thought it would be or it took a left hand turn somewhere and you're like ah, i don't really know if this is it anymore and there was something else that you wanted to go to during that time frame get up and go move it's fine it's not supposed to be uh, interpreted as rude um, and it's not supposed to be insulting and that's why it's important for everybody to know this rule first um, it's just meant to give you the best opportunity that you can have we've all gone to professional development and said well that was a waste I didn't learn anything new this accounts for that if you go into a session and you're like oh I knew all this stuff already you know what I need to go to location B then you just go um, it's meant to give you the most opportunity for this time. So just a little more elaboration here. So the rule of two feet, um, you look at the sessions and you have always have a backup plan. So if you say, okay, I'm gonna go to A10 during session one, and you're like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be, this doesn't apply to me, then you know you're gonna go down to A27 because that was the other session that you wanted to go to. Um, you know, if it's not meeting your needs, go to a session that does. So I know that some of you are probably thinking, what does this look like? Um, what are sessions possible? What are the sessions that are possible? What could I possibly put up? Um, these are some sessions that have been run in past ed camps that I've orchestrated and facilitated. 
Um, you'll see things like Flip It with Flipgrid, which may have be a formal presentation on what Flipgrid is, but it could also be a conversation on brainstorming new ways to use it in the classroom. There's also um, this session like quarterly exams, and this might be more applicable for the high school, but you might wanna get together with your department for one of those sessions and say, what does this look like to have them be more authentic, more performance-based, and ha have time to have those conversations? Uh, it's also an opportunity for articulation with grade levels that you're not used to having time with. So that's awesome opportunity. That's at department meetings at the bottom. That's why it's in quotes. Um, and remember that this is not, you're not supposed to be the expert. Nobody's expecting you to be the expert. And when you know that, and when people know that going in, it takes a little bit of pressure off. Um, it's just about having the desire to collaborate and have the conversation about things that are important to you. So, um, like I did one, okay? So I did one, I'll talk about it in the next slide here. Think of a topic that is of interest to you uh, or which you would like to share your knowledge or something that you want to learn more about. That would be a great uh, ed camp session. Also decide if you want to lead a discussion or have a more formal presentation. You can absolutely do that. Um, I ran an ed camp at the high school a few years ago and I did ways to incorporate post-its into your normal class lessons. Um, so, you know, I could have done it and I could have said, uh, you know, class activities using post-its, but it also helps when you have a catchy title. So instead of that, I called it post-it pandemonium. And then people are like, oh, that sounds a little fun. So it, it gets people interested uh, right away. But make sure that your session is also named appropriate and clear um, so that people know what it is they're walking into. Also decide if you want to present as a team or individually, or if you want to host a session as a team or individually, um, that, that always helps. And be prepared to be the moderator. So sometimes conversations can start about one thing and then can become a little intense or go off course. Just be prepared to say, okay, you know, I think we're getting off track here. Let's move back to topic B. Um, also, if you're discussing or presenting a topic uh, that you have materials that would help others, you know, bring them, um, be willing to share. Sharing is caring, that's <laughs> what we tell our kids all the time. So that's also, that's a great um, way to get the sessions moving. If you would like to suggest a session, or if, remember, if you pitch it, you start it. So you don't have to do a huge presentation, but you just start the conversation. Uh, you can sign up at the link. You go to https colon backslash backslash bit.ly backslash Tiger Ed Camp 2023, or you could scan the QR code there. And there's a form, which I will show you now. This form allows you to register your session, and it's very simple. You just go over here and you put in your name or names, depending on um, who's presenting. You then go down and select the school. So if you're doing a presentation with someone from a different school, just check off your schools. A title, uh, remember a catchy title helps encourage attendance. And then a brief description that will be available to the attendees. So people know what they're walking into. The other thing that you need to check off is whether it's gonna be a formal presentation, like you are the one that's standing up there talking and instructing, or if it's gonna be a collaborative conversation. Uh, any particular needs for the session, things like a computer, a projector, a room that allows for movement. Uh, if you know that in your building that it's gonna be a hot topic and you think that you're gonna get a lot of people not only from your building, but from other buildings as well, you might wanna um, request a large room that would be fine. And then how many times would you like to host or facilitate the session? There's going to be three different sessions. Um, you can do it once, you could do it three times, that's totally up to you. And then the last thing is just a thank you from me and if you have any questions, not to hesitate to reach out. So if you're interested, again, you just go to that website or scan the QR code and you are good to go. So here are the details for the 16th. Arrival time, um, please be in the auditorium by 8 a.m. Uh, sessions will be assigned to room numbers prior to arrival, so you'll see that. There'll be handouts there, so you can have that. That's a general meeting at the beginning. Basically, it's brief instructions, addressing any questions, any last-minute schedule changes, you know, um, knock on wood, 
that this doesn't happen, but if somebody gets sick and they're not, they were supposed to host a session and they're not going to be in, then we'll move things around a little bit, but that's just all last minute things. There's also something called the SmackDown. Now this is their term, this is not mine. Um, and basically what the SmackDown is, is you reconvene as a group at the end and share out anything that you think might be really beneficial for some of your colleagues to know that maybe didn't have the opportunity to go to the session that you did, uh, or if there were resources that you found were helpful. Um, it's, it's a big collaborative sharing opportunity. I know that people are much more comfortable when you have an idea of what the day is going to look like. So this is kind of it, this is tentative, um, but this is pretty much the the layout of the day. You come in, you are in the auditorium by eight o'clock to 8.25, we go over everything I just said. Session one is from 8.30 to 9.10, 40 minutes. And then there's a 10 minute movement time, um, just to relax time and you know bathroom, whatever you need to do in between each of the sessions. We end the day th <clears throat> then with the SmackDown document and the SmackDown in the auditorium again. If you're curious about EdCamps, I know sometimes this is, I, I try to keep this short, um, but sometimes there's more information that you would like to know. Uh, I did link some different um, articles and videos so you can see exactly what it is that it looks like. Um, so, you know, don't, don't hesitate to, to look for, at this stuff for more information. And I also wanted to thank you and let you know that um, I appreciate your consideration in hosting one of these ed camp sessions. Um, and if you have any questions or if you want to balance ideas about topics or titles or the sessions in general, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, ed camps are one of my favorite things and I am more than happy to help in any way that I can. So uh, if there's anything else, I will talk to you soon. Otherwise, I will see you on the 16th.